Let's go. Run. Airplane mode. Ready? Ready? Rocket? Rolling? Yeah. yeah. Sporting touch of hands. Round number one. There's that fast start. And that is the fastest knockout in Bill Knuckle Fighting Championship. Okay, Mama, no born in the Bronx. Raising data. Been in the city since Pitt had braids. But how about the parties? But I know how to sneak me out. Now with seven figure meetings every day, we need a house. It's game time. The game's mine. You know the vibe. Yo, yeah, how a new and that'll rep in 305. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Don't Blink Podcast. Yes. Ooh. Kid. We in here, baby. In the building. Yo, champ, you 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 stay styling and profiling yeah, right today, now. Yeah, you, like you said, I look like I came from a golf game and shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, today we got my little brother in the building, man, Roy, unbroken, Echevarria. Yes. yes my brother, great to have you here, dog. Yeah, my pleasure, yes, my sir. Dog. Hell yeah. I know Roy for a couple of years, you know what I mean? From uh, uh, I met him at the Go Shed, and, mm-hmm. uh, and I, I've, I've watched him from the beginning to where he's at now doing his thing. Very proud of you, dog. Thank you, thank you, my yes, man. Sir. You know, it's been a uh, tough road. Absolutely. Uh, long for sure. Sure. No, uh, and and you know what? In the fight game, even when it's going good, it's a tough road, dog. So yeah, sir, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not everything's pretty. Like it looks in social media, right, 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 right. right, right. <laughs> that, that's just what I post. You know what I mean? I cut out all of the bad shit. I know, <laughs> yeah. And if you follow Roy, he be doing funny shit in the gym. Oh, bro. No, he's killing it. Yeah, no, no, he's doing a bunch of viral shit. No, yeah, you wildin'. I see yeah, you, man. We can't even viral. drink water at the fountain with him yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. No, no, and he'll there's, come up and yeah. with the whoopty like, hey, hey, hey. No, the whole ghost shit is known for. Fucking viral <laughs> shit, dog. There's constantly shit going on at the gym. Yeah. Yeah. You follow the amigos, do yeah. everything for cloud. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So I was on the awesome too. He was here episode thirty five. Thirty five, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sounds he talked. Awesome, he talked yeah. really, really, yeah. really, really amazing about you. Yeah, and look yeah. at you here now. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Rocking sure. and rolling, kicked the ass through Titan. For sure. Made it to the UFC vibes. Yeah, yeah, Dang. absolutely. Uh, we're gonna I, get to all. Yeah, that. we're gonna get to that yeah. too. But if I'm not mistaken, you're I'm the proud. first fighter to make it make it to where yeah. you did through, from this camp. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because because the gym is fairly new. The gym. Is yeah, we have two years open still. We 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 still young. Shit, but for two years you guys been doing great that's awesome yeah 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 we have two years open uh, i have one year and a half uh one year is in like nine months already of, nice. of being pro nice so nice. yeah it's been kind of quick but at the same time damn yeah. hard I mean, <laughs> oh yeah no, you've no, been no, busting I, ass and you got a ton of fights for just for fucking a year and a half of being pro you got yeah. eight, eight pro fights but we're gonna get to that uh, i like to start from the beginning you know i know you were born you were born in venezuela no yeah venezuela so, so tell us about that you were, you were born there how, how we get to where we're at today yeah, I mean, um, I'm from Venezuela in a little town uh, called Maturin, Venezuela, in, in state Monagas. Uh, really, really, really humble town. It's like, it's, I would say it's like a, like a country, country type okay. of thing on, on, on my on my on my country. Yeah. It's like where the cows are. Right, right. <laughs> it's like not a, not a two above city. Dirt, dirt roads and shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I, I grew up there. I, I was there till like till I was like seventeen. Okay. That I graduated from the high school, and then I went to the university in a bigger state. Uh, I studied dentist there. I'm a dentist professional. Dentist? Yeah, dentist. No shit. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I wonder. You got a nice <laughs> smile, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I graduated at uh, 21 because I got I got out of school really young. At, okay. at 16, I was already graduated. Okay. So I started university as soon as I as soon as I dropped off school, and graduated. And my first year of graduated. We just, I'm not, I'm not gonna want to work this. I just did it because compromise yeah, with my parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, my that, dad never wanted me to study. <laughs> that, that's uh, Hispanic parents. You know, you got to go to school. You got to yeah, do it. Yeah. Well, yeah right. But uh, when you were a kid in Venezuela, did you do any martial arts or anything? Yeah, I always was, I always was in, in Jiu Jitsu. Okay. My, my, that's my first love. I okay, started nice. with Judo first, nice. but because in Venezuela, when the Jiu Jitsu wave starts and all the MMA stuff, it was so, so, so new. That there wasn't like too many people doing it, especially right. now, like in the big city, in the capital, all the all, all the states, for sure. There, there was more and more people, but in my in my city, yeah. it's like three persons. Yeah. So imagine <laughs> me being a kid that there wasn't no kids doing jujitsu, you know. So yeah. I was doing judo, which is more like old school, and then. I started doing the, the adult class with my dad and his friends. Then we started, like, I started growing up with that. I stayed from judo to jiu-jitsu because my dad was training, so I just waited till he left, and, and I was just doing it over and over and over. Did you compete over there too? 
Yeah, yeah. I, did a, I did a couple competitions when I turned like my first was when I turned 14. Okay, nice. And I had a, I started when I was eight, so I had like already six, seven years doing jiu-jitsu. Yeah, so well. I was just killing it yeah. being 14 years old, but people, oh, they they knew sport. They yeah. did. This kid looks like he's been training forever. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Awesome. Is this guy Venezuelan or Brazilian? <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, and uh, okay, so 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 after high school, you went to dentist school. Graduated, you're, so you're you're a certified dentist. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I graduated. On the, I I graduated as a dentist. Um, were there all the well, meanwhile as I was in the university, it was the the problems with the government. It started going oh. all that stuff like things start going downhill. So this is a couple of years ago. This is a- yeah, 2014 start. Yeah, okay. Start everything. 2014 until 2017. Yeah. I get in, in the university in 2013, half a year. Okay. Um, from there, just start problems going down, protests and riots, all the stuff, streets going out in my country. Yeah. People dying, yeah, yeah, you know, no, oh, yeah, no, people, viral are, stuff. <laughs> I know, even if you have, if you're not, you know, if you're not Venezuelan, you watch it on TV. It's it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, know? we were like that. It was the it was a focus on 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 Your global country, thing right, in my yeah, country yeah. just because what was, go, what was going on. Yeah. Um, like the main political leaders were getting to jail. They went and they was getting shot. A bunch of stuff. Um, all the students were who were, who were um, backing and up, backing and up. And I was I was part of my state that where, where it was in the university. Right. Uh, one of the, the the main guys, just because I was kind of popular because right. I was athlete too. Right. So I was in, in the in, in the, the mix right there. Yeah. 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 So people like I got really deep into the into the protests and all the stuff, and I got known publicly because I I always wasn't like in the in the in the newspapers because right. oh this kid won gold in this tournament all all the stuff, so I was very, very like a like a spoken outspoken yeah. Yeah. Okay. and that's not that, a good thing well <laughs> no and that that put me on on the main focus for them and yeah. I got in jail for that I so, got locked yeah. up for like. Three months. Okay. The first time Shit. they're trying to put me a big case. So to, like a well, political prisoner for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wanted to to charge me with something that is called like mercenary. Okay. Being um, as a mercenary because allegedly I was training the guys to fight the police. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was their that was the argument. Right. I was like, they were trying to build me a case for that, but we move we move under under the stuff and right. we 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 get we get away. Nice. And then the wave come down for like half a year, six months. Right. Then start again. 2015 ends. 2017 starting, and we won deep again. In man, it was yeah, it's just, still going on. Damn, right? yeah, yeah. It's yeah. more, it's more quiet right now, because right. they like this. The the government not knew how to how to show up all the all the the main the main littles. They suspend them uh, like. Sending out of the country and because they have the they have the, the the complete control of the whole country, so it's yeah, not it's too just, much you can do. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Damn. So you was like 16, 17, 18 doing running running around doing all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were going. Wild. I mean, I was, I was damn. right now. I think about it and I was like, damn, we were crazy because I see the videos of of what we were doing that I still have like on my phone stuff like that damn we were crazy I like I, I literally got my, my friends got shot on my side just because we were fucking front line throwing rocks yeah. uh, to the police that was they were throwing, uh, 25 were throwing, feet away yeah. shooting yeah. Yeah. Shoot. you, you oh, were yeah. throwing rocks they were throwing bullets back. yeah no shit they gonna hit us <laughs> <laughs> we were throwing fucking uh, Molotov stuff yeah. like that's the, that's the only thing that we had to defend yeah. we don't have no guns yeah, of course. so we weren't wild we were young all the adrenaline yeah. we thought at the moment oh this is fun but we we also have our, our logical behind like the meaning what, behind yeah, it, yeah. we wanted to do it yeah. Because it wasn't defending like defending your country and defending what you grew up knowing, you know? and, and also like, for example, my my university was one of the the main groups on the states also because it was affecting us so bad, like or 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 the uh, university was being stopped, so being that because 
uh, teachers getting wasn't getting paid, all the stuff, and we were just all right. They protest, protesting. We stop our careers. We can keep going studying. Then like the prices of the or materials start getting higher. Or parents yeah. can pay. Like it was everything affecting. So we weren't like just getting delayed. Like, yeah. yeah, little. Yeah. yeah. So it's just crazy. And so, what, so when was it that you started? How did how did you make your move to to come to the United States? So as soon as I graduated, uh, it was my it was 2017, uh, early like January. Okay. Um, it broke a new wave of products. Um, we I graduated on, I finished official school on 2016 October. So there, all the months that I have, it was to make to do uh, we call uh, pasantias. It's like to just do a certain degree, okay. so you get your your title. You, so you you work for free, but that's your oh like uh, what's it called uh, intern like intern. Yeah, intern. Yeah, intern. Yeah, intern. yeah that's what it is. Right. So we were doing six months of that, so we get our title then. So during the we during all that process, our products broke out. And I started getting deep again. I start, I stopped going to the interim stuff because I was like, yeah. man, this is my people, you know. I was yeah. I was doing that. And I got caught again. And I got caught for like three nights. And as soon as I got out, they, they retained my passport and all the stuff. They This time they were going serious. Yeah. <laughs> and my my family went like, okay, we can we can let it go this too, too far. This is... This is getting out of hand. Yeah, the, yeah. the heat is going crazy. It's going. They're going after my mom, my dad, my sister. So we just decide like, we're gonna. We have to leave the country. Okay. They start calling like doing uh, trends to my to my business of the this, the business of my dad. All the stuff. So we're, they, we start like, all right, we gotta we gotta get out of the country. And hey. I say, so you guys you guys all left together? Yeah, yeah, okay. we all left. We okay. all left. Yeah. Um. So the first thing we did. We, we we did a meeting family and yo know, what you guys what you guys think would be the next move and since I was in the sports since, since the kid and I already had to do f two fights uh, amateurs in, in Venezuela okay. MMA nice. I was bro uh, my dream is be be on the UFC um what was where else I'm gonna go I have to go to where is where is Said it, you Where know, is that? Base, yeah. yeah, it's in the United States, so we just run it there. And uh, that mom had a visa athlete for like just to come tournaments and go back. Right. And we went, we came to the wars of jiu jitsu, and I dropped out of the national team like Cuban style. <laughs> yeah. we, came, we came to we came to the national uh, to the world championship, compete. Where was that? In see California? <laughs> where, where was the world? Yeah, Jack? California. In California? I just say, see you, coach. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and what did you guys do? Start making your way down to Miami? Yeah, yeah. No, we we actually came to Miami for one night, and we, then we we uh, got a flight to Oklahoma. My oh, my no. uncle was there. Okay. So he was who, he was who would take care of us, like, the first couple of weeks. We, uh, we just started to figure it what out. the fuck yeah. we were going to do. Yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah, from yeah. Venezuela to hey, Oklahoma. Who, that's who, wild. You <laughs> running away like a child. Bro, oh, yeah. Funny thing is, when I'm when I am where I'm from, it's like I would say it's like Miami Miami type of thing, but hot like way hot. Right, right, right. And Oklahoma I snow. go to fucking <laughs> Oklahoma in March, bro. Damn. That shit was minus first minus fifteen. I was dying. I was like, <laughs> I never felt a cold like that in my life. <laughs> it's like the most that I felt it was my AC it was. 21. Okay, so Venezuela, your whole family flew to California for the world for Jiu Jitsu? Everybody got, yeah, everybody got to go? Yeah, like first, first, it was me and my dad who were like in the national team. My okay. dad was a coach from okay. my state, so we all we, oh, we flew both together. Nice. But my mom and my sisters, they went to another state to the capital. And then we. To Caracas. Yeah, to Caracas. Okay. Where my, my grandparents were there and they stayed with there for like a couple of weeks and then they flew here. Okay. But they didn't have visa, so they they we try to pass it through the through the borders. So just say just get a political asylum when they when they get here and that's what we did. They went to the frontier to the border and they they uh Come say they Yeah, yeah, they turned it They turned it something, they turned yeah. it something and on they just let it go. And like, yeah, they gave them political asylum. Yeah, and, political yeah. asylum. Like if, you, if you go back, they'll kill you in your country. Exactly. So my my mom and my little sister, they got it. And my big sister, which all the, is little, is a little younger than me. Yeah. She's like two years old, two years uh, younger. younger. 
and she got deported. Like she was nine months on 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 prison. Was they were like stood in their case on something like that because she was she was uh. Of, she was 18 already so they treat the case like separate like oh you're adult she was an adult already yeah and my other sister was like 10 years old so they they live with my mom she didn't have to do anything but my other sister were were in prison for 9 months and then she just got deported she got we, deported she got brought back over here no, my my. Oh, she she was in prison here. You're saying, yeah, yeah she was yeah, in prison yeah, here. Yeah. So she got deported to Venezuela, and as soon as we get it, as soon as she hit Venezuela, the same day she, we flew her to Spain because nice. she couldn't get there. Nice. So now she's in Spain, living there and oh, nice. making her. Oh, life. she's living better than everybody. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, and uh, so w- once you got you, you went to you said you went to California for, and then you came to Miami for a night. Went, went back to Oklahoma, and then what happened in Oklahoma? You guys were trying to figure it out how what, what's going to happen. Yeah, so so we have a, a family plan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of of my dad was start was, was supposed to build the gym there yeah. and see what's what's up. How how was the the thing? But we were in a city that was so 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 uh like it, people the the jungle was me like yeah. everybody was like mm. eighty years old. Yeah. So so <laughs> yeah. there's no oh, eighty years old. It wasn't gonna work there. Yeah, there's no eighty years old guy doing yeah. jiu-jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> so we just uh I my my girlfriend was here in, in, in Miami. We flew together from Venezuela okay. but um she stayed in Miami on um, we were like four weeks already and we just started like Bro, when you coming? Yeah. You're not doing shit there. That are all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, I gotta go. With that yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm literally not doing anything here. Like yeah. we were in a city where there's no public service, no, no like bus, no anything. Oh, Everything was. You gotta ride a horse. He was yeah, in an like, American fucking, campo. <laughs> yeah, like an hour away from wherever you go. Oh, so shit. it was like. Yeah, you weren't in Oklahoma City. You no, were. No, I'm out in Tahlequah. Tahlequah. Not even close. Uh, it was yeah. like. Crazy. That's crazy. It's like, it was like a native uh, community. Oh, oh, like oh. a Native American. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. The, from Cherokees. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some yeah. native. So and, and so when you got to Miami, what did you do? You started training down here. Yeah, I actually came first with the excuse that I was going to do the Miami Open, yeah. uh, the IBJJF yeah, tournament. Yeah, yeah. So with the, I I I signed up for that. And I told my dad, I'm going to do Miami Open, uh, and <laughs> then I'm going to do uh, New Breed. And I, I, like, like, right away, I signed up for that weekend that was coming. That was coming. I had already... What year is this? 2017. Okay. Yeah, like okay. April. Okay. So we were here and already like a month, a month and a half, no training or anything, but I just signed up for the competition and then signed up for the for the New Breed week, week after. And I just, but I'm going to go there, compete, and... I'll, t- I'll let you know if I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. As soon as I compete here, it, I did pretty well. I got second place on my division and third place in the absolute. Nice. And then week after, I got gold on the on the new, on breed. The new breed. Nice. And uh, I just said my dad, yo, I'm not going back. Like I'm just gonna stay here. I'm gonna find a job and I'm gonna stay with my gear and you guys see what <laughs> yeah. the fuck you guys do. So, so, uh, so you, where's your, is your dad still in Oklahoma? No, he's here. Oh, he, 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 yeah, he came. He figured he, it out too. Yeah, he came a year later. He, oh, yeah. he learned in a, in a bad way. Like, yeah, yeah. He, he, actually, they moved to Arizona after, like okay. two months after they moved mm-hmm. to Arizona and they they did the gym. They built up the gym oh, there. It was, okay. he, he was doing good, but yeah. still, it was, he, he was like close to the border also. So no, and he's Latino, man. It's hard to be yeah. Latino in Arizona, bro. And uh, so, so now they came over here. Is uh, I, I don't know if I ever met your dad at the gym or anything. No, I maybe, met him at maybe, Chinese. Probably. I met him at Chinese buffet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, probably, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, I probably have seen him. Is before. he still doing jujitsu? Yeah, yeah. He nice. teaches at Black House. Oh, at Black House. Oh, yeah, nice. That, that, nice. that actually was the first gym in my second competition. Nice. Black House is at the beach, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was um, my second competition. I met Will William Avril, which okay. is was the ma- the head coach there. Okay, and I start talking to him. I had a friend from Venezuela here that the he knew him, so he told me, "Yo, I was living on the beach." So he was like, "Oh, he he is he's a really good guy. He has talent, whatever." And he he told to William to if I can go to his gym. I said, "Yeah, yeah, sure, come in." And that was my first gym here. Uh, I started going to Black House. I got a job. Uh, I was doing pool attending. Oh, nice! In uh, in a hotel. So nice. 
as soon as I get out of the job, I was just going to Jiu Jitsu and Muay Thai with Chaplin. Yeah, was, Chaplin's my yeah, guy. Yeah, I was doing those those two trainings at night and Chaplin everything. used to be at Black House too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. But now Black House is gone, so yeah. they moved they, they they closed out and now they they call it Miami something. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, yeah, there's my dad still there with Willem. They just doing jujitsu. Okay, so it's not Black House, but he's still he's still in the same spot. Yeah, okay, exactly. Okay, okay. And uh, I, I met a guy before. I thought he was your brother. He fought in the UFC. I think he's Venezuelan too. No, uh, Omar? Omar. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. my 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 boy, my yeah. bigger brother. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. I always thought he was your brother, but uh, yeah. I mean, same thing. You know, like we're we're all brothers here. Exactly. Um, my brother, so and so, how did you end up getting with with, with Asim at Ghost Shed? Well, he used to go. He used to go to the open mat at okay. uh, uh, Black House Sundays. Okay. So I was in Black House not like ninety percent of the time that I wasn't working. Yeah. So I I, I was saw him there going to the open mats and. That's when he was fighting back then, no? He, yeah, he yeah. was a fighter yeah. back then. He was in shape. Yeah. You know, he was a one forty five right now. Yeah. The fucker is two ten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I started meeting him there, and we had a great feeling. Like we 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 hook up with each yeah. other. That sounds weird, but yeah, yeah, you hit it off. You hit it off. Hit it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we start we start being like friends, hanging out, and all this stuff. And then I got invited to like the little crew that he had a training right. with LB and him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ryan, yeah. all those guys. And I got invited because they all they were all. Um, 45ers and up. Right. 35ers was the, the smaller wasn't right. I was Ryan and he didn't have a training partner so I was I got invited by another guy too that was training with them and since then I just like I'm, I'm thinking I'm quitting here I'm just gonna uh, yeah, yeah, yeah transition transition yeah, I transition a little by little till I just stick and, and where, where'd you get into the stand up was it there with, with Ghost Shit or were you already kind of doing it at Black House uh, my first like Striking coach was uh, this guy Gregory Chaplin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, the beast. He, that's a good one to yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he he taught me pretty much my 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 base, my fundamentals. It was kind of weird when I did the transition to Awesome because I just knew I you have to switch either Jiu Jitsu or or Muay Thai. Yeah. So I was either too tall or like wrestling yeah, stance, yeah. <laughs> Jiu Jitsu stance. So. Yeah. Uh, asking uh, Tommy how to oh, yeah, mix it that. up, how to really do it, like MMA style. So right. I pre I rather up pretty both styles pretty well. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I know Asim for for a while too before he opened his gym because I knew his dad. His dad has the mm, Apple a Day at the, the beach. Day. Yeah, best restaurant. And and and, and Asim used to do sure. all his meetings at Apple a Day. <laughs> no, no, that's the best acai, best healthy food. Yeah, for yeah, yeah. Sure, Shout out to sure. Apple a Day, man. Yeah, I love, yeah, I love yeah, his dad. Sure. And. Uh, so so you got the you got the ghost shit. Did you mm-hmm. uh did you start doing did you do amateur fights out of ghost shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I did I did three out of Black House and then my fourth and fifth I did it Mexico's we didn't have a gym. All right. So it was just me training with Asim and the guys at Chaos Zone when okay. we used to train at Chaos Zone yeah. and being at nights at uh, Black House. So we did like uh he was coaching me with, with Greg or nice. with or with William. Nice. And you never trained with Diego at KO? Yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> <a fucking kicker. laughs> he's awesome. Gotta watch out with those spinning guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he's like this big. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't laugh too much, man. <laughs> so, yeah, that guy, um, we did, we did, I did like three fights like that, then two mix up with them, and my last two fights I did is completed with, with Goshe, that's an amateur, yeah. even before we had a gym. And then I... I just did when we opened the gym. Uh, we I I was about to turn pro already. Yeah. So my from the basement of the Goshe, I just I just been pro. Nice. But from like the old Goshe, old no, school. And I remember because I went to the Goshe for the first time right when COVID hit. Goshe uh, was yeah. still, you know. I mean, we were, I don't know if we can say this, but I guess we couldn't. Now <laughs> the doors, the doors were open, oh, and, yeah, and yeah. we had real fighters in there. Everybody yeah. was a real fighter. It was no like play play time. Everybody was fighting. A lot of good sparring and. Uh, and I, I thought he used to live there, but this guy, I'd go at night in the morning in the yeah, afternoon, he right without the gym training, training yeah. his ass off, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I mean, that's yeah. that's that's what, what it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. There's there, that's they have no other, no other yeah, words. Just. Absolutely, absolutely. And my brother, so and then you went pro with Titan, right? I was there for your first pro fight. Yeah, I was there yeah, for a couple yeah. of your fights. We've been, we've been there for a couple of your fights. Yeah, yeah. Um, that was my 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 pro debut was two thousand twenty. September, I think. Okay. If I don't remember. Nice. If I don't remember. Uh, yeah, that was my first, my first pro, and my 
my whole career has been in Titan pretty yeah, much yeah. till I got the contender shot. Um, that was, no, and that's a great place to start because, you know, shout out to Lex McMahon and, and yes, Jeff. They're, they're, they're great people to fight on. They, you know, they help out the fighters. And uh, how, how'd you get the how'd you get the UFC uh, call? Well, we were it was it was kind of getting harder to find opponents for for my fights. Right. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people dropped out; they didn't want to fight. Oh, you. <laughs> it was so so annoying because I was training for for I train every camp since my last fight on 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 December with with Waskar. Uh, after that fight, I was supposed to fight again like February, then March and April. Like I got like four fights canceled back to back, Damn. and we even tried to go to out of state. Fights got canceled too, and it was just getting harder. And we just sit and did a meeting and just yo let's, let's run a campaign or something to try to get into contender or UFC short notice. I don't care. Like just to just to get a fight and and probably jump out of the big stage. Yeah. And we did it and like. In, Two weeks later, we got a call and we got oh, a yeah. notice to to get it to to contender by in September. That's awesome. No, no. And, yeah. and and we I saw could, we saw a contender fight. It was a, you know it was a hell of a fight. Yeah, it's, it was. It's a learning experience in for life. For sure, you know for I mean? sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, of, a lot to learn about that fight. Yeah, you, you learn more from losses than you do from the wins. You know. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. I I I see that fight and. I mean, it's it's a weird taste for you know. It's, of it's a lot. No, no, my nobody. first love pro, yeah. but um, definitely I'm I'm grateful for the opportunity that that I that the experience that I live and and everything was was perfect. Was perfect. I can't complain. It was you know. Yeah. It was it was, it was so you almost like you lived the dream though because from yeah. from your story you know what I'm saying that that's what you ultimately wanted to do yeah, like that, get, that, you know what I'm saying get on that big stage right absolutely. there and you did it out of everybody in a year and a half yeah, two I'm years I'm almost you know what I'm saying like we got in good terms I did I feel like I did a great a great fight great show and right right uh, we had the we had the doors open they told us that, that I like to so just keep just keep training keep fighting and probably yeah. we'll get it there again absolutely. next year so and you talked about that fight with Oscar I was there in the fight and I yeah. know Oscar. I know Oscar yeah. very well too. He's a tough guy, yeah, bro. That yeah, that fight was my best <laughs> fight for sure. Yeah, that was a great fight. That man. was a that was fight. amazing. That was amazing. Yeah, and Roy too. Well, Roy was when we was doing the clothes for Titan. When we was doing the shorts for Titan, you know, we, they had reached out to Roy and was like, "Yo, Roy, can we put the History Makers on the shorts?" Oh, he was like nice. one of the first ones too to nice. put yeah, History no, Makers was, on the shorts, and it was, was like love. It was a vibe. That yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah hell fight. yeah. Oh yeah, and my brother. So what, what's what's the next move now? Your last fight was that one with the UFC contender, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you got? What, what are you planning next? So I'm I'm right now, like I said, Balkan I'm walking season. season. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, took, I took my my ten off. I'm I'm getting married in December. Oh nice! Oh, congratulations, congratulations, brother. I don't know yeah. about congrats. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, hey, we'll edit that part out so you don't see it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting married in December, nice. so um, I'm just gonna focus on on fix everything. Getting married, right? yeah, get married, and now probably I want to fight in the first in the first quarter of the year yeah. on probably February, uh, mid, March, mid, mid January, Mar- February, March, right. or any any of those months, and probably do pro- two fights more and. See if we got, if we get again into contender by July. That is when to start the season. Uh, if otherwise, just keep just keep getting yeah. whatever. Keep whooping ass. Yeah, yeah, keep whooping ass. ass. Until, yeah. Yeah. Uh, until one of those big time, calls time comes. will come. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You just of gotta course. keep keep opti, keep grinning, and you know, there's no secret for this. Have you ever tried looking like uh, getting into like one championship or Bellator or anything, or you just, you want to do the UFC? Uh Mainly, yeah. My my main goal is UFC. We got a, we got a, a, a offers from one FC, but the thing with me is that my immigration status is not is oh, not the best, so right. I can I can get out of the country. Yeah, right, I've been right. missing a lot of opportunities. For, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, just because of that situation. Yeah, yeah. Cause I know so, like Shorty trains with you guys. He fights for Brave. Yeah, That's a good opportunity over there. Yeah, exactly. We got a call from from one. We have reason. Like there's a couple companies that that have been calling us up for for reaching to see what we can do together, but. But it's just unfortunately I got a offer for Octagon like huge offer and it's like ah oh, fuck I can't do it. Yeah. It's like in Russia. And yeah, 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 yeah. I know Octagon. I uh, was to say, but also well, how do we fix that problem? How, how, how can that get fixed? First, I need money. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, uh, get get that. That's that's a lot of money. That just fix my my visa, just because that's how that's how it is. Yeah. Um. I feel like I have now. I have all the requirements, especially after this fight and all what it the 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 weight that has just been that platform. Yeah. Uh, to get a, a, a extraordinary visa, which is like a special visa talent, some, right. something like that. Um. 
just try to make the switch because right now I'm under political asylum, yeah. but on transition. So I already we were, we're already working on that, and hopefully we get that done by next year too. And meanwhile, just probably I feel like UFC will be the best just because they 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 mainly here in USA. Right. And right. and when by the time that I get my papers on, I'm, I, I I will look. I see myself as a as a as a good uh, athlete and fighter for them just to be in outside on outside right. car, uh, cards like Latin America or right. any other place, you know. Right. And, so, and uh, are, are you getting does uh, like I see management fighters too? Or are you getting managed by Asim? Yeah, I'm yeah. getting managed by Gold Management. This is or, or in house uh, okay. management. So okay, nice. yeah, they 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 got it all figured out over there. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were with it shaking. Yeah, That's yeah. not the awesome, bro. Yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> We gotta, you know, we gotta. Hopefully, one of our viewers, we got, we gotta figure out how to get uh, his, uh, his, you know, political, his visa, right? Yeah, and, and get, yeah get to fight. Either, either we get his I know, visa, I know, right, we need we money, but if we can't flag. fight, we can't make money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you exactly. Go. Yeah. yeah, trust me, I live the same lifestyle, dog. I'm trying to get. I need some fights, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, my brother, um, a big question we ask oh. everybody on the show. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Uh, you know, and in Venezuela. I, I'm thinking about this, right? In, in Venezuela, in the country where he lives, in Oklahoma too, where you, know, you, you can actually see the sky. Not like Miami, you go outside, you can't even see the sky because of all the lights. Hey, you ever seen any aliens? Aliens? <laughs> Damn, I don't think so. Don't think <laughs> so. Do, you, do you believe in aliens? Yeah, I believe there's something there. I don't know what would, what would be the name if that would be yeah, aliens yeah. or <laughs> angels. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, if, if like they could fix the visa, I believe in them. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. There's there, there's there's certain uh, um, entities that yeah. will say yeah. okay. Uh, okay. Uh, unexplainable. Yeah, unexplainable. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Science don't know. So yeah, for sure. In the future, I, I'm pretty sure we'll know. I, I, I'm on the fence too. I like I believe, and I don't know if I believe because uh, you know I, I need some proof, man. <laughs> <laughs> I need to more, hang out with more. alien one night. <laughs> Talk shit. Uh, my brother, uh, for a young guy, you know, young. Roy out there looking in uh, you know what can what can we what gem can we drop on him to, you know something to, to keep him motivated like what what kept you motivated man uh, first of all my dreams what I want what I want to be in life what I, where I see myself in the future all the objectives all the goals that I have I know they won't come if I don't work if I don't wake up every day if I don't go after it and I have so many so many so many goals set so many uh, like dreams to 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 accomplish that like i say they won't come if i stay at home if i stay uh unmotivated yeah. i need to go work after i need to be disciplined i need to 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 re to show that i really want it you know what Absolutely. i mean because maybe 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 i won't get it but i rather i rather try and try and and uh, and try and out. right right right, right. Yeah. not try and never know try and never yeah. know yeah. you know what i mean it's uh, like like that that famous video say Fuck around, you find out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, I like that video too. That guy's that guy awesome. You know, yeah, it, yeah. so I feel like just just stay stay consistent, stay working hard for whatever. Uh, working hard doesn't mean just train hard. Yeah, it's, of course. It's, it's, anything in life, you gotta work for. It. You gotta if you have big goals, big big dreams, you have to be committed to it and be be faithful to to your own dreams. So you, you gotta respect them because otherwise you don't want it. You know, absolutely. I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So that was multiple gems right there. Yeah, I, like I like that. that. I like that. <laughs> My brother, quick question I was just thinking about right now. Are you are you marrying the girl that you came from Venezuela with? Yep. Oh, yeah. Nice. Wow. Yeah, we came, we, nice. we studied together in yeah. the university. Nice. I went through hard times we together. Hard time. The pandemic, yeah, all that. Oh, we're going through big times awesome. together. Congratulations sure. on that, yeah, my brother. Yeah, hell yeah. My brother, it's been amazing having you on, dog. Thank no, you so much. My pleasure. Thank I you really, so much, really dog. We love the opportunity, yeah. guys. I can't wait to have you again once we're in the UFC yes, or, or we won or whenever the visa gets fixed, we're going to have you on again. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah, thank you, man. The lawyers watching this yeah yeah <laughs> for real uh, immigration lawyers <laughs> we need you uh, yeah oh yeah and uh and you know what man um a rest in peace anthony rumble he just passed away oh, man yeah. he was, you oh, know, yeah. a, a big a lane of the sport definitely. legend of the sport great friend of ours oh shit great friend of ours personally and uh you know it, it, it's crazy how 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 life is man yeah definitely definitely yeah. You, you one day you blinking one day you not blinking right right <laughs> that's, that's how it is one day you don't blink yeah. <laughs> yeah. my brother thank you so much man nothing but success for you dog 
Thank you know, you. we have this whole team right here behind you, dog. We, we yeah, love you so and want to see you succeed, yes, dog. Sir. Yes, sir. Stay unbroken, monster, make yes, history. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's get it's it. Done deal. Everybody, thank you for tuning in. Don't blink podcast. Me, the kid. Yes. Unbroken Roy Echevarria. Bang. Check him out. Where, oh, where can they find you? Uh, the Unbroken Roy, all social medias. TikTok, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you want to see a no, straight and, and move. Let me tell you, 100%. If you, even if you don't follow fighting, you've seen them. I, I go viral on some shit on Instagram. Hold uh, on, yeah. oh, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Before, now that we talk about that, do you think about these tricks that you're going to, pranks that you're going to do to your teammates? Do you yeah, think about that? You stay yeah. home like, hmm, yeah, yeah. this thing right here, I'm going to put the thing. I'm gonna, yeah. He actually thought about that. I'm going to make him drink water from the water fountain and I'm going to creep up on him. Yeah. I'm going to box it in. I'm like, yeah, what? That's awesome. Awesome, dog. Hey, we gotta try that one on people here on the guest. <laughs> uh, brother, thank you again, dog. Yes, yeah, man, don't blink pleasure. podcast episode. I don't know, maybe a hundred plus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, check us sure. out. Don't miss it. Love y'all. Tuesday, yep. seven thirty p.m. <laughs> Bow. <laughs> well, I think me and Two Nights got something great going on. We got some great guests coming up. It's gonna be dope. We got some dope people that that already you know signed up to do it with us, which is great. A lot of people show us love, and uh, it's because we love them back for sure.